Well, here goes an experiment I've been wanting to do for a long time. And um, since I had quite a few Phantom 500s, um, and this was a 12 tuber for driving eight. And I also got this Warrior, which is a two piece. I'm not done with this yet. This is four driving, four driving eight. Uh, but there's no information for the Warrior, but I had some schematics for a few uh, different Phantoms and different versions. And between this um, Phantom here and a few more I had in the schematics, um, we've been playing with the Warrior, but we're not, you know, maybe halfway done with it. But we did revisit this um, fixed up, cleaned up 12 2 Phantom 500. But what we did is we bypassed the driver tubes. So this is basically now, instead of four driving eight, a high drive eight tube amplifier. You know, the drivers were there. That was the uh, keying circuit tube. And the keying circuit didn't like high drive, so I just basically put a foot switch on it. And if you can see in there, you know the warrior doesn't have the transformers that would be in the power supply you know box but and the warrior has the four driving tubes was so the drivers would be here or pre-drivers actually four finals and the um no four pre-drivers drivers and then the eight finals there but it's very similar setup to this uh 12 tube uh, DNA Phantom. So we learned some things about the Phantom. We learned some things about the more things about the Warrior. Uh, you know, pretty close to the same box, except the uh, Warrior has um, the pre-drivers. You know, the fronts are pretty close to the same. And then on the back side. Of course the warrior is going to be a lot more complicated with the four driving four and this one's a lot more simplified even though it's still you know a lot going on in there um, with no driver tubes and a um, foot switch with a key in circuit um, basically the warrior over here it's got um, five relays in it a lot going on in it and uh, antenna relay to the left there that relay controls the um the output whether you're going on the um eight final tubes or if you got it on one of the low sides it's the um four driver tubes that's for the output and it just bypasses the eight final tubes using that relay I and mean, you can see the heavy wires coming in that's the rf coming in you know from either the finals or the uh, drivers and then that other wire there is the ones going out to the antenna relay so that switches between them as two of the relays and then down here it's got three more relays and uh, the relay on the left there controls the um, other two like when it's open um, the high voltage relay is on here and this is the low voltage relay and then when it's closed this relay kicks in the low voltage relay so that controls whether it's um, high voltage going through the amp or low voltage or or half you know using the center tap off of it very complicated amp you know going in there especially if you don't know what's doing what and just very little information on it but um we get in there not too long hopefully we'll have this guy going I already got a, a working power supply for it so hopefully it won't be too long now but anyway, we did finish what we're going to do with this. Um, the driver tubes have been bypassed and we got a foot switch for the, um, the relay now. And also the drive, instead of going into the driver tubes, it's tuned and it goes straight into the final tubes, you know, with this amp. And the only uh, tuner you're using, because it's just one tuner for the driver is um, that guy right there which has actually got tune on it and then you're using your final uh, tuning load on it 
Um, and this one, since it's been streamlined, it's only one stage, no high and low. So you got your antenna relay. And then you do have the high voltage relay, which kicks in only when you key down. When you key down, um, the antenna relay keys down, then the antenna relay turns on the high voltage. So that's how they shut off or shut down the tubes or take them out of conduction is they remove all the high voltage um, from the tubes until you key down and then that relay kicks in. Other than that, it's just basic uh, grounded grid amp now, you know, with it no driver and simplify, you know, power supply caps, two sets of bleeders, not equalizers, but just bleeders to be, to bleed off the, um, the caps in there. Um, that's for the high voltage center tap. Um, only reason we need that is because those relays run off 120 DC and they get the voltage from the um, the center tap so that's the only reason we still need that um, center tap and the, and the cap there over here we got the uh, negative bias it uses a little bit of negative bias on grid one um, high voltage diodes there when the amp goes bad or even before it does first thing I do is always check the diodes I already did one on the uh, diodes um, caps have been changed and upgraded. Two banks of uh, 220 UF, 450 volt, instead of three. It runs on 900 volts, so I got three 450 volts, so what's that? 1350 volts safety. It uses two Z14s for the um, plate um, plate choke. And you know, pretty simple design with the grounded grid, even though it's a lot going on in there. And if you want to complicate it, look at the uh worry over here with all the driver stuff and pre-driver and the switching and all that. Now that's complicated complicated, but we pretty much got it figured out. Just some time to go through it and sort it out some more. But anyway, let's see if we can slide this out the way. It's pretty loud light with no uh power supply stuff in the war here and um, we're gonna drive this with the little lowly uh, JB76 uh, it's only doing um, maybe dead key and 20 swinging to a hundred with the mud duck radio behind it and um, we gonna let the uh, phantom warm up a little bit and I guess while we letting that warm we uh, under the uh, big dummy low And we're on the uh, 200 watt scale with just the um, JB76 driver uh, running. So we did can 10. Swing the 70. That's all we're putting into this guy. And hopefully we're warm and everything is still copacetic on the 2000 watt scale. Uh, I'm going to key it down with the foot switch. And see what this uh, Phantom does. So we did key in about 170. Listen to about 650. Only talking to about hello. Audio about 400 and that's on average and then on peak audio 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 hit 8 might hit 850 audio audio and that's not hitting it hard with that JB76 with um uh, no driver tubes in this amp. You know, I had a key down quite a while when I was testing this thing, and it's not running hot at all that way. Low dead key, um, high swing, audio, 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 hello, hello, hello. And that's going to be it for this um, modified Phantom 500 um, 8 tuber. All right, bye.